In today's startup funding news and acquisition news, we're going to talk about the startup funding from the period of 19 June till 24 June 2023. Before we move forward, if you're somebody who have come to our channel, you ensure that you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon and select all in the bell icon so that you do not miss on any of these startup funding news and business case studies. So let's start with the startup funding news. Which are those cities which have received startup funding and which is that top city again which has bagged the number one spot? I'll tell you more about it. Let me take you to the full screen. Funding in Indian startups this week between 19 June to 24 June 2023. Here we go. The total funding amount which is raised is $135 million which is more than 1000 crore Indian rupees. So which are these startups? The growth and late stage, there are two deals which has happened and early stage, there are 20 deals including five undisclosed. As many has 20 early stage startup deals has taken place only in one week of June between 19 June to 24 June. The early stage deals, space tech startup Digantara was on the top with its 10 million series A round. The lease also features I Mantra traffic guard and good flipping burgers among others. Let's take you quickly to the city wise segment startup deals of funding which has taken place. City and segment wise deals this week Bengaluru based startups dominated the chart again according to 10 Bengaluru based startups raised funds this week amounting to 34.22 million dollars or 25% of the total funding was raised in Bangalore alone. During the week, Mumbai and Delhi NCR based startups saw 5 and 3 deals respectively. Complete breakdown of the startup deals according to the segment of the cities in India will give you in the chart which will be displayed on your screen now. City and segment wise number of deals in startups you can clearly see the Indian map here under which city wise Bangalore has done 10 deals, Mumbai 5, followed by Delhi NCR 3, Chhattisgarh 1, Navi Mumbai 1, Chennai 1 and Kolkata 1. Let's look into which are those segment areas, which are those sectors under startups which has received the funding because majority of them are the early stage startups. Now that we got to know that Bangalore has done 10 deals and others 5, 3 and followed by 1, let's look into which are those sectors under startup deals that let's come back to the chart of startup deals in India. Here we go. The fintech deals are 3, e-commerce are 3, food tech are 2, health tech are 2, drone tech is 1, space tech is 1, EV that is electric vehicle is 1, prop tech is 1, hospitality is 1, Cobev is 1. Fintech and e-commerce including D2C brands led in terms of number of the deals and amount raised. Food tech and health tech startups were next on the list. The amount of total funding raised was $135 million which is more than 1000 crore Indian rupees. The major chunk of funding is being raised by fintech and e-commerce based startups. We've also given you how many fintech and e-commerce deals has taken place. This is again 3 fintech deals and 3 e-commerce deals which is again majority in number and also majority in the total number of funding raised. Now let us give you the acquisition news alongside with the startup funding news this week. So let's look into which are those acquired companies by the established or having more funds startups which has acquired the small startups. Acquisitions. Apart from fundraising, this week we also saw 5 mergers and acquisitions. Community startup build on scenes was acquired by Graphi. Asylum Learning that is XYLEM Learning got acquired by Physicswala. Eeksha, that is V E E K S H A by Adda247 and Spenny by Cred, among others. Spenny S P E N N Y by Cred. We all know what is Cred into and why Cred has also acquired. Now let's look into more in detail about the acquisition lease. For that, I'm going to take you to the full screen. Position in Indian startup this week between 19 June to 24 June 2023 acquired by the first company which is acquired by and these are the list of companies which has acquired that is Graphi, Physicswala, Adda247, Cred and Zendesk. Category wise 
द फर्स्ट ग्राफी इज एटेक फिजिक्स वाला इज एटेक अड्डा टू फोर सेवन इज ऑल्सो एटेक क्रेड फिनटेक Zendesk is a SaaS base, which is software as a service. We have type of acquisitions and startups which have got acquired, and categories and deal size. So most of the deal size is not disclosed. So let's look into what is it. So first, Graphy, which is an edtech acquired, build on scenes, a community platform by category. Deal size is undisclosed. The next in the list, Physics Wala, which is an edtech category acquired 50% stake in. Xylem Learning, that is Z Y L E M Learning, category at tech, and the deal size is sixty-one million dollars, which is the only one which has been disclosed. That means Xylem Learning has been acquired fifty percent by Physics Wala. So Xylem Learning is being acquired fifty percent by Physics Wala. That means Physics Wala will also control Xylem, and the valuation of Xylem is clear. That is. 122 million dollars because it has been acquired for 61 million dollars now how much is 61 million dollars this is more than 500 crore rupees of deal which is 61 million dollars and 122 million dollars which is the total valuation of xylem learning is gives xylem learning a valuation of more than 1000 crore rupees has it's been acquired partially 50% by physics wala Next in the list, Adda two four seven, which is also an edtech startup, acquired Weeksha, that is V E E K S H A, again an edtech company. The deal is undisclosed. The next in the list is Cred, which is a fintech category. Does not only acquired, it is Acqui hired the acquisition. The startup company is Penny, which is also a fintech. The next in the list is Zendesk, which is a SaaS base, that is software as a service, acquired by. Zendesk the company is Timmy Shift that is T Y M E S H I F T which is again a category of artificial intelligence this was all about the acquisition news for the week of June 2023 which is at the end of June 2023 however it's very important for you to know that why these acquisition deals takes place is because the companies which has acquired these small startups doesn't want these small startups to come and give them a counter of competition and the other acquisition deal strategy is that they combine together strategically so that they acquire more market share for example physics wala has acquired xylem learning so that physics wala is very strong in hindi based or in other words hindi sector of tech because majority of its learning is on hindi language whereas the south indian market needs the other language and english the reason why physics wala has clearly acquired xylem learning so that it can also acquire the market of south india here we have also seen that zendesk which is a saas based company has acquired a ai based that is artificial intelligence company in timey shift that is t y m e shift So why is it acquired the Timey Shift it is a cross sector acquisition because Timey Shift is an artificial intelligence based company and Desk at the other hand is a SaaS based company because strategically a SaaS and artificial intelligence components when it gets combined strategically it will going to be a different component altogether hope you are able to understand why these acquisitions takes place at the same time we have also discussed that which is the most cities which have also got the major funding bangalore again topping the list to get 10 deals out of 20 deals of the early stage startups we month on month we have also made another previous startup funding news deals where we have talked about the cities which are bagging the most deals again at that point of time also bangalore was at the top but however the second and third city were different but here bangalore is still taking the number one spot at all the funding news which ever happens at every month process the reason why it is also being the startup capital of india if somebody who wants to raise more than 50% of his salary if you are somebody who wants to join a startup and also be wealthy by having esops in a startup then make sure that you join our free practical mba webinar and also if you're somebody who's looking to do upgrade your skills or join an mba make sure you join it because there's lot to or in depth knowledge about it the link is in the description i hope you've liked this video if you like this video do not forget to like and subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and select all under bell icon so that you do not miss on any of these startup funding news business news update and business case studies see you in the next video
if you are somebody who is looking to do an mba or if you are somebody who come from a technical background and wants to enhance your skills in management then this is for you in india a normal mba cost about 4 to 5 lakhs rupees in a normal mba college and the rate of placement in this kind of average mba colleges is about only 5% to 8% whereas the ecosystem of startup companies in india and the companies which are looking for talented people doesn't require these average mba college people with them hence if you want to enhance your skills and want to raise more than 50% of your salary then make sure that you register for a free practical mba webinar where you get to network with lots of professionals who come from a different background and you will know exactly where you got to do a practical mba the link is in the description